Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a makeup video and I'm gonna show you how to get this look. Um, this is kind of like a medium glam. I think I would wear this look to like a Thanksgiving dinner, a holiday party, going out, stepping out, whatever. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see how to get this look, just keep watching. Let's get started. First thing, I need to do is clip my little side hairs back. Oh, she's kind of cute. Next thing I'm going to do is spray my face with some, you know, I don't really know how to say it and I'm not going to pretend like I do know how to say it. Mario Skincare, let's forget the last name. And it is the Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom Facial Spray. I like the green one too. I don't remember what's in it. I didn't really like the purple one. But I don't use Like every day. Woo, look at all those particles. Um, I use this every day before I do my makeup and every night to keep my skin hydrated and glowy and all of that good stuff and next i'm gonna take this smith's rosebud salve which is like a little tin for your lips i think it's so cute and i'm gonna scrub my finger around in there Ooh, got dog hair <laughs> Are hydrated also I have a mirror over to the side if I'm looking over there that's why mm. it smells really good like clean and I'm going to then go in with my primer which normally I do a moisturizer as well on top of the spray but this primer is very hydrating and it's the Tarte um, base tape it smells really, really good. Mm, it smells like a little bit of sunscreen and coconut. Oh, I love the way it smells. And I have a couple dry spots like around my nose and on my forehead a little bit from the cold weather we've been having up here in Tallahassee. hydrated okay she looks she looks ready to do some makeup and then y'all I go in with my foundation um this foundation is normally too light for me it's warm nude um the shade is warm nude and it's born this way by Too Faced and normally it's too light for me but I haven't been getting much sun in this cold weather so I'm gonna see how it looks and I usually just one two on the back of my hand and i take my trusty little beauty blender i washed it it looks dirty but it's clean and i dab the back part in there and move it around a little bit and go like this just pat it in it's that's how i check it's still a little light i'm not gonna lie but i think once we put like concealer oh my lord you can really see that. She is full coverage. She is full coverage, girl. Where'd my top lip go? Oh. Uh, I just pat it in. Like, I have tons of baby hair, so it's kind of hard to get, like, up in there. Get around the creases on your nose so it's not all caked up in there. Okay. And I know some of y'all be making this mistake. Don't just leave it like this. You gotta go up under here, up all up in that jawline. Don't just stop there, girl. I'm gonna take a mini, mini, little, two little baby drops. And girl, you gotta get up under here. We need to do 
some under eye coverage and some highlighting and oh yeah i'm gonna use i'm going to use my tarte shape tape and this one's been through it she's pretty dirty um in light medium so i'm gonna show y'all what i do i know some people put up here on their nose on their chin and sometimes i do that like when i'm feeling like doing the full works but i'm gonna show you what i do when i don't want to go too ham with it and then with the leftover like um concealer that's on my beauty blender then i like to go over here and up in here down like if you just feel like a little bit of light highlighting nothing too crazy that's what i do and i also like to go around here because i have like um dark coloring um okay yeah she looks good she looks even no like built up um makeup anywhere if you can see that so what i'm gonna do is take this milk makeup translucent medium um powder and i think the packaging is so cute i love it it's just so simple and you unscrew the lid and it comes with a little tiny sponge that i don't really use and then you pop up ah, it's kind of hard to pop up for me. there you go pop it up and there it is and to get the powder going i kind of dump a little bit in there and first i start off with the one in the lid and i swirl around i like this packaging because i like how it doesn't make a mess like if you're traveling with powder usually like when you reopen it the powder is like just like a big pile in there and it goes everywhere when you open it so i take some powder and i uh i'm not gonna necessarily bake i'm gonna just push it into my skin it really leaves like a really nice smooth finish like i look airbrushed right here it's really good i really like it my favorite high-end powder that i bought like probably that i've tried and I actually got this one for free through a review company, Influencer. <clears throat> and you review stuff and they send you boxes of stuff that like, like that are geared to the categories that you mostly review. And I review a lot of beauty products. So they tend to send me beauty products. And then to get the rest of my face, I take a brush. This is by a company called Farah that I got. It's 50F. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag, I think. And I'm just gonna go around in there. like that you can't see any like at least from what I can see you can't see any color difference and it blends down nicely if you do like you know the chin check right then I'm gonna go in with um, eyebrows and I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, dip brow pomade I keep forgetting the cameras on this side <laughs> and yeah She's a bit messy in there. Um, honestly, it took me forever to properly learn how to use pomade. And even now, I'm not that great at it. But it's very challenging when you first get it. Because it, like, is very heavy. If you don't use a... Oh, got a hair. A light hand. So I just dip a little bit in here. Do, do, do. And then I kind of just like wipe some off on the lid because 
yeah that's just what i do and i'm gonna take a zoomed in mirror this is the second half to my mirror over here and first i brush up all pairs so you know what you're working with honestly i don't fill in too hard because i kind of have just wrote on myself i have like a thick brow shape but as you can see up here i have some like sparse areas i like to fill um down here and right here this eyebrow same thing the um arch the tail and then just a little bit in the front but overall i like my eyebrow shape so i don't change that so i take some on my this is an anastasia beverly hills 7b eyebrow brush and i'm just going to go over the top of my eyebrow and i'm outlining my eyebrow shape and i go down my arch form the tail like so and then i kind of just pull down from where i outlined like girl boom there she is <laughs> mm. <laughs> I promise in real life it does not look that bad but then I come in here and fill in that one little spot I was telling you all about down here yeah see she's cute and then I like go down here and do a little line I never touch this front part of my brow i like it like spaced out like that and i think it gives it more not so harsh look and i'll blend it okay so that's what they look like as of right now and i'm not gonna lie to you they're bold they're dark they're here and they're pretty even i mean you heard the expression they're sisters not twins okay let's be realistic here see i like like this little openness in the front a lot of time in the pictures though you can't see this part of my eyebrow because it's not filled in but it looks better in person and then just to like clean up i take concealer and i'll put a little dot on the back of my hand and i'm gonna take this morphe there is no number on these collection ones these were um i think jacqueline hill favorites i want to say collection i think they had like a face one and an eye one <clears throat> and anyways it's just like a little flat top little brush and i dip it up in the concealer i'm gonna get my mirror again <music> this is like correct to do this is just what i do and i think looks good so she is blend it out girl now i'm gonna take i'm gonna do bronzer and i'm gonna use the mac times Aaliyah um baby girl bronzing powder i really like it it's very pretty open it up and i don't know if you can see on camera but it's got some shimmery flakes in it. I love how her signature is in there. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to take... I have these two uh, brushes that I use for bronzing. Mainly I have tons of brushes. But these are the ones I mainly use. And they're both both from Morphe. A part of those bundles um, in the face palette. And I switch between using these two. Um, like either how like cut i want my jaw to be or how just overall bronzy and i think i'm gonna go with overall bronzy so i just um swirl my brush around pat it off a little bit so it's not too much and then i s usually start right here on my forehead da -da -da. and make sure you blend out that bronzer girl don't leave like any harsh bronzing marks that looks like you got 
hit in the face or got dirt up in there. And then I come to this side and I just kind of like press my brush in and swirl it around. Hit that forehead, honey. Honestly, I have a pretty small forehead. It's like three fingers tall. Over here, it's like one finger. And most people use bronzer on their forehead just to shrink it down. But I kind of just do it overall just to keep everything even. some like light sparkle like I said you probably can't see it on camera um and also what I like to do to like accentuate the jawline and make it pop is take some more bronzer and just like hit that outline of your jawline like can you see it working it just makes it more defined and I love a good jawline like I love a good jawline same over here just kind of go around the edge like nothing too crazy where you have like this harsh line also i'm doing my makeup up in here and my window's open and i'm pretty sure people are out here looking at me hopefully they're talking to me but it looks like they're looking at me um now i do blush this is a little baby blush but it's um Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, and it's in the shade Quirky, and it's just so cute. I love this shade. I got this probably an Ipsy bag, and I'm using this Morphe brush that came in that face collection, and I just hit, like, first I start right here on my cheeks, and I kind of, I, by the way, I love blush. If this is too much for you, tone it down. But I love blush. And I also, this might look sound weird, but I also hit the tip of my nose. I think it just gives like a cute little like, like warm look to your face. Oh, so cute. And then I go back with my powder brush from before and I kind of just go over to blend everything together. And also, if you go too heavy-handed, you can just, what I do at least, is take some powder and um, just go over it. Yeah, cute. And then we get into the eyes. I know a lot of people do their eye makeup first, but honestly, I just like to have my base down and do eyes last. Um, so today I'm gonna use the Soft Glam palette. Ooh, she cute. First, I take this MAC uh, Soft Ochre Pro Long Paint Pot. It's called a Pro Long Wear Paint Pot, but I use the shade Soft Ochre. And it just looks like this. And I'm gonna take this... Honestly, I don't know the name of this brand. I got it in an Ipsy bag. I think it's... Firma 203 and then just dab some in here. Um where's my little mirror? Okay. And I just I coat the whole lid like pretty much all the way up to my eyebrow. Like look it's just nice and even. And it also makes your makeup last way, way longer and prevents creasing. Uh, if I don't use this, honestly, in like a couple hours, I have a big eyeshadow crease mark. If you have that problem, I suggest investing in this. It's kind of expensive. But I mean, if not this, something similar or a good concealer that won't crease in your eyelids. Um, or a good eyeshadow primer. But this one so far has been the favorite that i've tried and works the best for me at least because i get very oily eyelids um like if i'm wearing something for a long time and it just creases right up in there 
so like now i just have this very nice even base to do my makeup so i have this boom and i'm gonna go first in with this shade orange soda and i'm gonna use this morphe blending brush that was again in the eyeshadow bundle and eye brush bundle and i'm just gonna go right up in there and tap off a little bit look at all that smoke and i'm going to start a little bit higher up than my crease and blend it around i hope y'all can see the sun is like starting to move down get some more and I bring it all the way out to here can y'all see that nice just like a nice little shadow and now I'm gonna do this side and then I'm gonna take a bit of a smaller blending brush uh, this is by Miss Glam, I think the brand is called. SS57. I love the handle. It's so pretty. It's just got like sparkles in there. Um, then I'm going to take Burnt Orange. Wait, hold up. Down here. It's right under Orange Soda. And I'm going to get some on my brush. There is a lot of, in my palette, fallout, I gotta say. And then I'm gonna go in the actual crease this time and darken it up. All right, y'all. First, I'm gonna go in with Sienna. It's kind of like a a reddish brown shade and I'm gonna take an even compacted smaller blending brush I'm gonna take this us oh, okay it's by urban studio and it's blending 211 and I think I got this at like Marshall's or something and I really really like this brush so I'm gonna take Sienna and by the way, always start off a lighter than heavier when you put eyeshadow on your brush because once you start, you can't take it off. You can always add more, you can't take off. So I'm starting right here in my crease, the outer edge of my crease, and I'm blending out and up. I'm not going up here. I'm staying strictly in this outer V area. came down over here so I want to clean that up so I'm going to take this um don't know who it's by this little gold brush I got it from a boutique called the copper closet I got real cute stuff there I'm putting some concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna clean up the edge and yeah you should probably do this when you're done with your look but it's just bothering me right now so I'm coming over here and I'm taking it from the outer corner and I'm just covering it up and I think what I'm gonna do is take a very small amount of mulberry which is like a brick red color and just hit like right up in that corner that v and now i'm going to take 
mulberry and sienna together and i'm gonna work my way a little bit more onto the lid let's cut it in can y'all see that she's cute i don't know if y'all can see that she's cute all right now what i'm gonna do is take this brush again take a little bit more of my mac um paint pot just get a little bit on there and i'm going to kind of cut the crease i'm just going to do the front half of my eye because this is where my shimmer shade is going to go so i have some on my eye i'm starting in the inner corner and I'm working my way to where I started the uh, darker shade. Y'all can't really see what I'm doing. And I'm just outlining the shape of my eyelid. And I'm patting it on. And there. Just a clean start. Oh, there's a lot of very pretty shimmery shades on here. But I think because it's fall, I'm going to go with this really nice gold. Um, it's called Bronze. Oh, just look at her. She's pretty. And I'm going to take this little small packing brush. This is was a Christmas gift from a friend. These are look like Harry Potter wands. I love them. And I'm gonna dip it into bronze. And I'm gonna press pretty firmly because homegirl is everywhere. And I'm gonna spray it with the facial spray that I used before. I have MAC Fix Plus, but it's over there and this is right here. And honestly, it's gonna work the same way. So I sprayed it, oh, it smells so good. And I'm packing it to my lid. that gold is gorgeous okay she is gorgiani and i'm gonna go back with um this brush and i am just going to blend a little bit on the outer edge right there i mean where those two shades meet i'm just gonna slightly blend so that it doesn't look so harsh and they kind of just fade into each other same thing on this eye Ooh. i gotta crack my neck next what i'm gonna do is take this small morphe m506 a little tiny tapered blending brush and i'm gonna go in with burnt orange from the palette and I'm gonna hit my under under eye area. I am going to use this little baby version of the um, Kat Von D tattoo liner. And it's just like a little let me shake it up. Um pen. Oh lord, my neck hurts, my back, and also what's happening right here. And I'm going to just burr, burr. First, actually, I like to start with the outer corner, and I just flick up from where I want it to end, which is right at the uh, end of my eye. So boom, boom. Then I'm going to do my inner eye next. So I'm just gonna start from right here and draw a line to about halfway. Okay, so I've lined the front part of my eye. Now what I'm gonna do is start just a little bit under where the point is and just draw backwards, like at a downward angle. So I start here 
And, ooh, girl, come on. And I'm just gonna... Okay, nothing came off. Homegirl might be drying out. Shake it up, shake it up. Okay, starting here. Uh, so nothing's coming out. Let me work her up over here. There she goes. Come on. Okay, so she's not really working. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get a different eyeliner. This one died. BRB. Okay, y'all. I'm back with my trusty Fenty Beauty mini eyeliner. She's gonna get the job done. Let's see. Starting again. That same spot. Oh, my hand is shaking. And going down. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. And then you just kind of fill in all those spaces. This eye came out thicker than this eye. Uh, there was a malfunction. It's fine. It's fine. They're sisters, not twins. Let's just admire this one. Beauty, Grace, Miss United States. She's there. And now I'm taking mascara. I don't usually wear false lashes like on the daily. I mean, maybe I will for the holidays, but typically I don't. So I'm just going in with mascara. And this is by Lancome and it's the Monsieur Big Mascara. I really like this one. She gets the lashes. I almost just messed everything up. Coat all these little babies. Ooh, ooh, she's visible. Look at those lashes on the bottom. Okay, girl. This eye, this eye bottom lash is working better. This eye eyeliner might be better, but this bottom lashes is better. Okay, so I have to be honest with y'all. I'm not that great at doing lips. I'm really not. Um, but I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Mary Jo K. We going red. We're going red because my outfit, let me show y'all my outfit. This is my shirt. Thank you, next. Okay, Ari. And my cute high waisted pants from, um, where are these from? Garage, I think it's called. Garage. And anyway, now my lips are moisturized from before and from when. Oh my god! Anyways, let's just get started. So I'm gonna, I always start outlining from the Cupid's bow. And sometimes I go a little bit bigger, sometimes I don't, just depends on the day. Um, today, I think I'm just gonna go a tad bit bigger, not really anything crazy. sometimes I hate outlining my lips because I'm not that good at it we'll figure this out together and then I just follow my uh, natural lip line and I heard this is what I've been told and what I do I look ridiculous like this but by the time you get down here you need to meet at your natural um, lip point in the corner so if you start off big down here you got to slant down to meet your your natural if you're overlining your lips they're pretty even and now i'm gonna do the bottom i like to start sometimes you know i don't even really know sometimes i'll start over here sometimes i'll start over here sometimes i'll start right here i think i'm going to start right here today
Yasmin who? Okay, Brad Stall over here. Girl, this thing broke. And now I'm gonna take the actual liquid lip part is coming next. I'm not gonna lie, Kylie lip kits, they do their thing. Y'all might hate on her, but her pro her lip kits, they work. Um and they smell kind of good too. So now I'm just gonna fill it in. Like girl, the color. I love filling in my bottom lip, it's so easy. Oh my gosh, like the color is there, dude. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best at getting my lips like even all around. Like you could probably see down here. And you can clean it up with foundation or concealer, but I'm not good at that either. <laughs> I'm not going fake on here. But dude, ooh, I just love this color. And doesn't this color just say holiday? Like holiday. Mm. 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 <laughs> anyway, moving on. Now I'm gonna do highlight. Mm. This is a tragic story. This is the um, Becca Champagne Pop, and I dropped it on the concrete. So she shattered, but I still use her. She's a mess, but girl, you gotta do what you gotta do when you got a product you love. And this was a limited edition one because it had like the champagne bottle imprinted in there. So I just did not want to give it up. So I'm going to take, I'm going to dab my brush in the little wreckage and tap it off. And where I like to go is right on the tip of my nose. Hey. Oop. And down the bridge of my nose. You'll see in the light when I'm done. And I obviously hit those cheekbones. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. Same over here. Ooh. Mm. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit on my brush and like flatten it a little bit. I don't know how to do this, so I do this. And go under my eyebrow bone. Just like right under here. Just for a little like, oh my gosh, it looks so good in this mirror, y'all. <laughs> and then same thing over here. Oh my lord, like, oh my lord, I wish y'all could see this in person. And I hit my cupid's bow. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes I do that before I do lipstick. A lot of the time, but I forgot, I'm not gonna lie. And boom, she's done. And y'all can hit this with some Mac Fix Plus or whatever. I'm not even going nowhere. I'll take my hair clips out and let's do this thing. Okay, like. Let me just, mm, my hair is crazy. Let me just bring y'all into the light, if I can, over here. Okay, so eyeshadow, boom. This was the thicker wing. That's my favorite wing. Eyeshadow blended, honey. Gold up in there. Bottom lashes over here, popping. Eyebrows, cute. Lipstick, ah, oh, I love it um highlight okay she's glowing y'all can see that foundation she's blended so yeah this is what um the final look should look like oh i really love it like i wish i was going somewhere right now oh that's my teaching workstation so yeah if you guys liked this video give me a thumbs up 
you have any suggestions on what I should do, let me know. Um, I'll see y'all next time.